Thank you, Mr. Speaker and colleagues of the House. Talking about dollars on the state floor, on the House floor, kind of makes me a little nervous. I don't want people's eyes to roll back in, into their heads, but I think this is important. This is a big budget bill. As a matter of fact, this bill um, covers approximately half of our budget. So I am going to talk. I'm going to talk about how much money we as a state have available to serve Iowans, to provide services to Iowans. Profe so. When we pass this budget, the projected fiscal year 24 ending balance is $1.9 billion. That'll be the ending balance, not appropriated to anything else. Of course, that's based on the bills that we're passing these days. The combined reserve funds are at their maximum, which is approximately $1 billion. You can write this down because you might want to do a little math here. We still have $1.1 billion of President Biden's ARPA funds. $1.1 billion of President Biden's ARPA funds. This one's really amazing to me. Our taxpayer relief fund is projected to have $3.5 billion. Have you been writing this down? Well, I'm going to help. What's the total? FY24 projection will have us sitting on $8.6 billion. And in this bill, we are cutting services that help keep kids with learning disabilities learning. We are cutting speech therapists social workers, physical and occupational therapists. We are cutting school psychologists. And we heard this morning in subcommittee, those are hard to find. As a matter of fact, they're trying to train social workers to be school psychologists. I am sure those school psychologists that we let go will find another job, but probably not in this state. Kids don't get to relive a year of learning or a year of development. They are expected to make goals every year. Each year is important to their success, every single year. And we are taking away their opportunities for success. Let me repeat, we have $8.6 billion, money that hardworking Iowans have paid for us to run this state responsibly. Representative Collins, if Representative Stuckman's amendment had passed, we would still have $8.574 billion. We have the money, we don't have the will. Cutting services to kids who are struggling to learn, this is the most, I don't know, I can't say this is the most unbelievable thing I have watched you do, but this is unbelievable. This is a hoarding problem. We are stockpiling taxpayer dollars. This money belongs to the taxpayers. There are lots of ways that we can give it back to the taxpayers through quality services, a high quality public education, public safety, clean water, infrastructure, higher education, mental health and substance abuse services. I can't believe that we're sitting on $8.6 billion and we are going to cut educational services to children who need our help. Unbelievable. 